Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video for Hogwarts Legacy. So this one we're going to be looking at Intel's Arc A770 and see how this GPU performs at 1080p resolution um, because this GPU is on the recommended uh, specifications for Hogwarts Legacy for 1080p 60fps. So we're going to take a look at how it runs at native. We're going to look at uh, the RT reflections and we're also going to look at the upscaling methods like XESS and FSR2. So just to kind of show off the settings, just like I've done in the other videos covering this game, we are running it at 1080p with temporal anti-aliasing set to high. Upscaling for now is going to be off. VSync is off. I've set the cap really, really high, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you can see down at the bottom Intel Arc A770 graphics card. Um, for the preset, I've gone and turned everything up to Ultra, and RT is disabled. So we're going to go ahead and see how it runs at Ultra at 1080p resolution. So this is the full native resolution, and then we're going to try some of the upscalers and see how it does. So just to start off here, outside of Hogsmeade, we're going to run into Hogsmeade. This is the hardest place, most stressful place on the game, or on your hardware in terms of the performance that it takes to run in Hogsmeade and just the surrounding outskirts area uh, because the draw distance is going to be much much higher so you can see overall the frame rate is pretty good uh, if we go inside this is going to be more of a representation of what you can get if you're in the Hogwarts castle and what the performance in there is like so you can see 90 FPS indoors that's pretty good we go back outside and then we can see like the FPS drops back down. So that's kind of how it is at the native Ultra. Let's go ahead and see what the game actually recommends. So the recommended for Intel's Arc, the game is recommending high for everything. So we apply that. Now we go back out. We can see the frame rate is higher now. It does certainly feel a little bit smoother. So now we're averaging around 80 FPS inside Hogsmeade um, as opposed to what we were getting with Ultra. So it is a bit higher overall, but I do think that it's not really that much higher from what I've seen. So if we drop this back up, or we turn this back up to Ultra, we can expect to see a performance loss. But overall, I would say this is pretty good. So this is what it recommends. Now, let's try, let's try bumping this up to Ultra again. So it's going to warn us that the desired settings exceed their recommended values. And then now we're going to go ahead and turn on AMD FSR2 quality, which essentially makes the game render internally at 720p, uh, then upscales it using the FSR2 implementation to 1080p. So let's see what this looks like in terms of the average FPS. So you can see with the FSR2 quality... At 1080p, it doesn't really seem... I'm surprised. I would have thought it would have been a bit higher than that. So with FSR2, it doesn't really seem like it's that much better then ultra ultra just native res which is very interesting so now i'm actually going to try let's let's try uh performance because wait no let's try let's just try balance and see what happens i just want to see if i can actually get it to change i can notice that the quality doesn't look as good in the background it looks blurrier but i'm not really noticing much of a change in terms of the the actual FPS. So go back up to quality.
Doesn't really seem like it's doing much. All right, let's try Intel's implementation for upscaling. Let's try Intel XESS. So this one always like makes me feel like it's gonna hard freeze the game, but it doesn't. It's just how Intel's XESS takes time to load up. But again, so the quality mode is going to essentially be 720p upscale, just like with FSR quality. Okay, so this one seems to be working. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. I'll have to probably test that again, but that one did go up. But again, it doesn't really seem... It doesn't really seem like it's doing... It, it, I'm surprised. I, I would think the FPS would go higher than what we're seeing with XESS. Let's try XESS Performance, which is going to be 540p upscaled interesting so it's still really not doing what I would have thought it would do in terms of the performance it's not really I don't know something might be broken with Intel's driver and I will note that I am using the latest Intel driver that is supposed to have official support for this game so let's go back to native res Okay, so it is, so so FSR and XESS was higher. Okay, so the, the average in, with those is around 70. Here it's like right around 60. So that's kind of the difference, I guess. Still, I would have expected it to be more than what we're seeing. Let's try, let's try this again. XESS. Okay, so Intel does actually have an ultra quality setting, which is 77% of 1080, so 831p. So let's see what that looks like. So yeah, this is performing better than native. So maybe this one would be the one. XESS ultra quality. Might be a good one, because now we're staying above... 60 FPS at all times, as far as I can tell, compared to what we were seeing on native, where it would dip below 60 sometimes. Okay, so that seems to work relatively well. Now let's go ahead and enable RT reflections. So this is going to require me to restart the game, but I'm gonna set it to ultra. And then let me just make sure. Yeah, so we are gonna have to restart the game. Okay, we're back. Now I've restarted the game to apply the ray traced reflections and you can see now it has dropped uh, significantly down and you can see the reflections on the ground from the global illumination light source up there um, you can see, so with, with RT, we're now sub-60, and we still have XESS Ultra Quality enabled, I might add. So let's go ahead and turn this off, set this back to native, and see how it runs with the RT Reflections. So RT Reflections is set to Ultra, and you can see with it running at Ultra, it just, it just... In my opinion, it just cert it just tanks the FPS for very very little visual gain. So it's I feel like most of the people that are going to play this game are not even going to bother with the RT settings because they're just too taxing for pretty much all of the hardware that exists uh, at this point in time. So yeah, you can see I can see the ray trace reflections on the ground, right? Like the, the transparent, like water, the puddles, that sort of stuff. You can see that, but it's really not worth the performance impact, in my opinion. So uh, let's try enabling AMD FSR2 quality, so 720p upscaled. So let's see how that helps. So that helps bring the average back up to 60. So that, that does help. So it's almost like there's a recurring theme here that I'm noticing. If you want to play this game with RT on, 
you are going to need to rely on upscaling technology. So either AMD's FSR2, Intel's XESS, or NVIDIA's DLSS. Um, those are kind of a requirement if you actually want RT to be part of your gaming experience for this title in particular. So you can see the reflection on the water there, how it looks. But now I'm going to go ahead and disable RT so you can see the difference in the visual quality there. So let's go turn this off. Now it says restart, but it did actually turn it off. Because you'll notice the FPS is now higher. And the only thing is the reflected surface is, I guess, a static light map. But you're still getting that, that look of like water on the ground. So, in my opinion, the ray tracing in this game, just it's just not really needed. It just doesn't really do anything in terms of giving you a better visual experience. You're going to get uh, what the artist intended with the native resolution or even with like FSR2 or XESS. Um, and that's just how I think most people are going to play this game. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Hope you found this video useful, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.